Hi again everyone, Chris Anderson, Mount Comfort RV, coming to you in a 2020 Dutch Star 4369. Now some of you that are keeping track of the vote may say, whoa, 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 the 3709 won, and you are correct, the 3709 did win by one. So Tuesday I was getting uh, coaches ready to do, the 3709 ready to do a video on, I'm walking around that coach, and man, this looks familiar. I feel like we've done a video on this. So I, I, but I look on our website like I had done beforehand. Nope, no video on the 3709. And so I happened to say, you know what? I really, I feel like we've done a video on this. So I checked our YouTube page and sure enough, I find a video on it, but it was not linked to our webpage. So our faux pas there, I mean, when I say our, I mean, it's really Tony, not me, but, but at any rate, um, we, we do make mistakes. And uh, so if you look on this, so those of you looking for a 3709 video, if you go to our website at mountcomfortrv.com, you punch in 3709 on the main search box there, you'll find a Dutch star that has photos and now has a video link to it, or you can always look for it um, on our YouTube page as well. So uh, my apologies there, but there already is a 3709 video out there is the good news. So it's kind of the best of both worlds because you get both, you get that and you get my favorite coach. By the way, what's the deal with the 3709 out, out, outpacing my, my beloved 4369? I can't believe that, so, but it did beat it by one vote. So, um, so we are uh, going to do a 4369. I have two of these in stock uh, right now that are 2020s. Uh, so that's the good news. This particular one is stock number 11373. Uh, if you want to go and see the individual pictures on our website or more information on there. So um, without further ado, we're going to start up in the front corner, start up here in the, in the cockpit area, show you some things uh, there and uh, show you the entire coach, see what you think. So let's get started. Now, with the um, 4369 Dutch Star, we have the option of bringing this in on either a Spartan or a Freightliner chassis. I want to make it clear, both of those are good chassis. Uh, we, we brought this one in on a Spartan, but we bring a lot of stuff in on Freightliner as well. Uh, that's not going to be a big deal for you down the road. Uh, if you talk to people in the campground, of course, whatever they have, that's what's best. I own a Spartan and, and Spartan's the best, or I own a Freightliner and Freightliner's the best. That's, that tends to be how that conversation goes. We sell both. We have great luck with both. I, I think I always tell people that should be way down your list as far as things to, to, to make your decision on. Um, you can get it either way. There are some small advantages either way, but not, nothing that's going to be deal breaker, I don't think, for you. But this one's on a Sparty. Um, I'm going to turn the ignition key on here, let you see how the digital dash, they went digital dash for 2020 as well. Let you see how that all lights up. Just like the Freightliner chassis, you will have the um, uh, the, the built-in tire pressure monitoring and everything is on here. The uh, Comfort Drive is also in here. Um, same thing, it's controlled through the steering wheel, but you can see all your digital gauges there. Wanted to light that up just to show it to you. I'll shut the key back off here. The one big difference in, in how you drive one of these would be that Spartan has elected, I'm gonna let some, put some light on that subject there for you, Tony. Over here, the shift panel is still the traditional Allison shift panel um, over to the driver's left, which is how coaches have been for a long time. Um, the Freightliner has moved it to a stock on the wheel. I like both, so you know whatever you want. HWH self-leveling system on this coach uh, as well. You do have a power driver's window. I'm not going to show that right now just because we try to keep the direct sunlight. It's a little bit of a sunny day here, and the direct sunlight really messes with the camera, so we'll, we'll leave that out of the system at this point. Um, there's a lot fewer buttons on over, over here because things have been more integrated into the steering wheel control and everything with the 2020. Now, one thing we did option in on here, this coach does have the 360 camera, so you'll have the bird's eye view showing you what's all, all the way around the coach. That's really nice when you're in, in tight areas. I'm not going to turn that on right now. We can maybe show that when we, when we start the coach back up, but that'll be showing on this screen over here. So um, controls uh, for your HVAC are here in the center, as well as a couple of nice storage drawers. Adjustable pedals on a Dutch Star, of course, tilt and telescoping wheel that is foot controlled, if I can find the pedal down there. There it is. 
Um, so you can tilt and telescope with this. Uh, very nice because you can move it the teeniest, tiniest amount just to get you comfortable uh, with it. So that's that's a little bit about the uh, cockpit area. You do have a charger for your cell phone up here, a wireless charger for your cell phone um, to to the driver's uh, left, and that puts the 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 phone in reach still, which is nice. Two cup holders, a USB charging ports over here also. Um, your power mirror control, everything's just very handy. The cockpit wraps around you a little bit, which makes things easy to get to. Sometimes RVs in, in years past, they've been very flat dashboard, which makes everything the, the big reach up here to get it or you know, pulling down the, the shades up here. Of course, this is a power shade up in the front window. In fact, this coach has the power shade option throughout. So that's just a little bit about the driver's area. Passenger area, of course, you do have a nice covered foot well here. You can see your steps down here, and there is storage. These lift up. I'm not sure if we can get that in this shot, but these lift up for some storage. I'll try to show that when we do the outside also. I'm going to let that down easy. All right, and then when you're, when you're ready to drive this coach, you just hit this button to the driver's or to the passenger's right, and that brings that step up flush with the floor. That's beautiful Corian like you have throughout the coach. You can stand on that and, and that way the driver's feet aren't dangling uh, into the foot well. Uh, so that's nice. You also have a secondary charger here for the passenger's cell phone and then you have the nice table. Table lifts up like this. You flip it over. You bring it down. Very comfortable. Uh, they call this a, a little drink holder here. That might be fine when the coach is stationary but that thing's about that deep. Don't put your coffee there when you're going down the road. You got a nice deep cup holder right over here. All right, but flip that back over. Send that back over here. All right, so there's a little bit about driver passenger area. We did option in the front television also. The reason we do that is um, whenever we have the, the televator option here, this is the perfect coach for two people. You know, um, you have the two recliners uh, over here behind the driver's seat, and then you have the television directly across from them. That's perfect for two people. But if you did have guests over and, and had the TV on, your guests would be sitting here on the sofa, presumably, um, and, and their heads would be blocking that television. So it's nice to have the option to watch the front television also. Up here, this is going to be our control center. We've gone over this before, so I won't spend a lot of time here, but I do want to hit it briefly. Um, right here, this is our inverter charger controller. Um, that's going to tell us, like right now, our batteries are charging. Um, they're getting a good charge, as a matter of fact, so they must have sat out here and gotten a little low on us. Um, this controls our inverter, which will, will allow us to run a lot of the 110-volt uh, items in the coach off of our batteries. It also controls our auto generator start, which we can set to come on at a certain temperature or a certain voltage to keep our batteries up. So that's what this controller does. This is our digital antenna here um, for dialing in our over-the-air stations. This is our Oasis system. We did a separate video on this. You can search Mount Comfort RV Hydronic Heating um, and you'll see a separate video that talks about the Oasis system um, and quite frankly Aqua Hot in general. They're very similar systems. Um, but this is what supplies our primary heat to the coach um, and also gives us unlimited hot water. That system can run off of diesel fuel or off of electric, either one. And that's, uh, that's our control for that. Some of our lighting is over here, our security lights, our block heater, turning on our in-motion satellite dish, which this coach is equipped with. Um, our exterior step switch and our exterior LED lights are all um, controlled right here. Slide controls over here. Um, and then we'll start down on the bottom row here. We'll touch this screen. This tells us how much is in our tanks. Uh, allows us to turn our water pump off and on, tells us our battery voltage, turns our auto fill feature on for automatically filling the, the tanks, um, and also controls our HVAC, which right now we're running on heat pumps at uh, 63 degrees. This next system is our energy management system. This will tell us how much uh, each uh, line of electricity coming into the coach is, is uh, running. We got a maximum of about 50 amps. It's running at about 45, 46 amps. That's because our battery charger is bulk charging and um, we're running two heat pumps right now. So um, that's keeping us under 50, which is the threshold there. But uh, that, this allows us to see what's using power and what's not and all that good stuff. So nice controls on the energy management system. Um, our over the door awning controls are right here. And then our main Girard awning control is right here. So that's just a little bit about our controls in the cup. All right, let's move here. Um, we have a fold and tumble sofa for furniture. And then above that, we have um, some storage for our AV. Um, this is our um, Blu-ray player in the center cabinet here. And there's room uh, for a satellite receiver and you have your Bose 
Bluetooth speaker above that will hook to both your TV, your cell phone. Um, you can do, um, if you're watching a Blu-ray, it's gonna pull off of there, or if you're watching off satellite. Um, now, furniture-wise, I don't always open the furniture, but let's do that. Let's show you the fold and tumble sofa because you have a couple of options of sofas on this side of a 4369. You have the jackknife sofa, which pretty much works like a futon. You just kind of lift up on this side and it lays down. That's not bad. Nothing wrong with the jackknife sofa. They've been around forever. The fold and tumble's the next step up. We lift here. You pull straight up at a 45 degree angle and this comes out. The legs come down automatically and this lays flat. Then all you do is take the back of the sofa, pull on it. It's going to lay flat. That's a nice flat sleeping surface for two with an air mattress that is self-inflating built in there. So didn't take me much time to set that up at all. When you're done, you deflate the mattress and strap it back down. Set the back back up. Run this back in at a 45 degree angle push down and you're done. So nice sleeping for two more, two additional people here. This coach is a four sleeper, uh, the way it's, it's set up. Of course, we have the televator that comes up and down to uh, uh, be in front of that window. So at night you can sit down, bring up your smart TV and everything's good. That's a Samsung television, by the way. During the day, you can drop that down and get your window back. Straight across from this, we have two flex steel um, and all the furniture in here is flex steel, by the way. Um, two flex steel recliners. And that's why I say this is the perfect two-person coach. This is a place you can sit, have a little bowl of popcorn between you, your favorite icy cold beverage. And there's storage in the center stand too, which would be a great place um, down here. A great place to hide the remote control. Two cup holders here. Nice setup. Storage-wise, above the recliners, we're going to have four four doors but it's one cabinet so I'm gonna open all four of these so nice long area you could, if you had longer items you can fit in here it's all one cabinet I love the fact that these are lined you know little things like lined cabinets are something that a lot of manufacturers leave out and people don't think much of it because until you're driving the coach down the road and it's making a ton of noise because the stuff that's in here is rattling you don't think much of it also the lining helps keep things from sliding around so that's just it's a little detail the fact that these doors number one have struts and number two they're the metal struts instead of the cheap plastic ones those are again are little details people don't realize and these doors if they don't have struts on them they don't fit tight these struts also pull in. See, that's uh, there's tension there to pull that door down, and that holds that door nice and firm up against the cabinetry and uh, keeps things from rattling. Rattles will drive you nuts in a coach. All of the wood in this coach is 100% solid hardwood. There's no wrapped wood or veneers um, used in, in uh, this. This is, solid, this is a solid wood coach. So that's one thing you get when you step up to the Dutch Star level. It's optional in Ventana to have all solid wood. It is standard in, in Dutch Star. So nice feature there. Continuing along with our, our overhead cabinetry here. again lined cabinet this is over the dinette area this is what we call the combination dinette this is a, a used to call it a combination computer buffet so what we can do with this first of all we have good storage here it's a deeper buffet than your than than the standard dinette the standard dinette only comes out to about here this is a deeper buffet and then you have all kinds of storage in here these are soft closed drawers, so just get them close and they'll pull themselves in. That's actually set for a hanging file. You can put a hanging file in there. It's going to be hard to see, but you got a little storage in the center here, too. Good luck getting that shot, Tony. And on the opposite side, we have a pull-out computer tray. All right, and then down below, this is set up with an adjustable shelf for a printer, and there is a 110-volt outlet in there as well to plug your printer in. And then they put this little guy in the corner in the pocket there that uh, uh, allows you to run like a USB cable up through that can talk to your printer. When you're not using your dinette or it's just two of you, you can push your dinette in and it locks in place and that makes it nice uh, so that our aisle way is not too obstructed as well when the slide rooms are in. Your outlets on either side of the buffet here are not just outlets. Those do have USBs in them. So we all have our little devices we want to charge. Um, gives us multiple ways to do just that. Also, you're right next to that outlet, your multiplex lighting. Uh, multiplex lighting just means that we can control many different areas of the coach from a few individual pads. Instead of just having one light switch for this light, 
there may be a couple of areas I can turn that light switch on from, and, and that's the advantage of it. And my favorite feature is when you're leaving the coach, um, and this is one, Numar doesn't advertise this, but when you're leaving the coach, if you just hit these bottom two on the left at the same time, it turns every light in the coach off. Now, like I said, that's not something Numar advertised. I actually had somebody from uh, the manufacturer of this lighting system tell me that little trick. Also, when you walk in the coach, if you just hit these top two on the left, it turns all of the ceiling lights on so you can light up the coach from one end to the other. You're not walking into a dark coach, which, you know, can be a little scary. If you're walking back in the bedroom, it's completely dark back there. Okay. Get into the kitchen area. Everybody likes to see the kitchen storage, so I'll try to leave no stone unturned here. Let's open everything up, pull everything out, and Tony, do your magic on the tops there. Of course, in the middle, we have the 30-inch Whirlpool convection microwave. No need for a regular oven when you have the convection oven, and that's a residential unit. All right. So nice pull out here, and then again, when you're going down the road or you're not presently cooking, you can shove this in. And let's take a look at some of the center kitchen storage here. All of these drawers pull all the way out. Huge storage. They're all soft clothes. All right. Look at this. How many times have I heard, man, I wish they'd give me a place for a trash can. How about a place for two trash cans? You can put two of those in there and still have a separate pull out next to it. Okay. This is an all electric coach. So we're not going to have a gas cooktop. We're going to have a two burner induction cooktop from True Induction. That cooktop is undermounted, but it's also just setting in there. So if you wanted to take it out and use it on a table outside, you certainly could. It just plugs into a 110 volt outlet. So simple. All right, let's get that in there. Double stainless sink with a pull down sink sprayer. This is in that black chrome uh, trim in this coach that's very popular right now. Newmar does all their Corian work, their own Corian work in house, which is why it fits so tight. It looks so good. All right, so we've covered cabinets above and below. We're through the kitchen, except for the Whirlpool residential microwave with a pull-out freezer and an ice maker. LED lighting makes things easy to see in here. All right, put that away. There's a lock on this to keep it from coming out and going down the road. There's also a lock on the pantry that you can lock for the same purpose. Okay. Look at these. These are adjustable in height. These pull out. How nice is it to be able to get to the things at the back of your pantry? There's a light in there so I can see what's in my pantry. All right. And Tony had the great idea. We never really show these doors closed. Okay. So this is what your coach looks like during the day. If you've got guests over and you want to close off your bedroom, this is how you do it. Those are the pocket doors. Let's not forget our half bath. The 4369 is a bath and a half coach. The half bath is primarily used for guests or when you're going down the road. I'm going to let him get a shot of everything closed. And then I'm going to sneak in here and open everything up so you can kind of see what's behind the curtain. All right. One of the things to look at down below the vessel sink on the floor down there, there's actually a central vac, and it's a two-stage central vac. So you have a spot there at the top of that that you can plug in the tools that run on long hoses. It'll reach both ends of the coach. And then down on the floor, there's a, actually a little suction deal there where you can kind of kick it with your foot and just sweep any dirt into there. It sucks it right up, makes it very easy, very nice. So all of these windows, as I mentioned earlier, do have power shades on them. They have a power day shade and a night shade. All right, we are through to the bedroom. All right, in our bedroom, we're going to find a king bed with a sleep number mattress on it. Um, one thing to notice throughout this coach, too, our polished porcelain tile that you see down here, on just about any other coach you're looking at, where you have the flat floor slide, you have carpet. There is no carpet in this coach. This is the, the Moore floor from Newmar. Um, the entire floor uh, throughout this coach is tile. So no carpet to get dirty and grungy or to have pets messing around on. Don't have to worry about any of that. This is also, we option this coach in with the heated tile floor. So your heated floor, there's actually kind of three different heating systems in this coach. You have your primary heat, which is the Oasis system, the hydronic heating system. And if it's below 35 degrees, that's what you're gonna use. If it gets up to 35 or 40 degrees, you can actually heat this coach 
with the heat pumps, uh, which is what we're doing now. There's three residential heat pumps on the, um, or I'm sorry, three um, air conditioner heat pumps on the roof of this coach. Um, and I'm running two of those right now because it's about, uh, it was about 35, 36 degrees when I started this adventure. It's warmed up a little bit outside. So um, those will take the edge off um, and keep you nice and roasty, toasty, warm if it's above a certain temperature. Below 35 degrees or so, heat pumps are kind of useless. So you would have to resort to, your, to your, uh, resort to your Oasis system at that point. But you also have your heated floor. If it's above 40, 50 degrees outside, it takes some time for the heated floor to get warm. That takes a few hours to heat up, but the, the heated floor will actually heat this coach. And the best part about the heated floor, not only is it very comfortable heat, it's quiet, it's silent. It makes no noise whatsoever. So your main floor is all heated throughout. All right, so king bed, we talked about that. On each side of the bed, there is an outlet with USBs built in. I want that at home. This coach is set up for the CPAP. I'm just gonna have to get up on the bed. No graceful way to do this. All right, so this is a lined cabinet again, but you have an outlet here in the center of the cabinet. And then on either side, there's one of those little pucks that open up and allow um, cables, I think is what they're made for. But in this case, it would be hoses for the CPAP to come down through. So how slick is that for, for anybody that uses a CPAP machine? All right, also controls for your blinds are remote control, they're handheld, um, but also in here, you can control them from up under this cabinet. So you don't even have to get out of bed to do it. Uh, storage in a 4369 is one of my favorite features. We have two nice wardrobes. They're going to look the same. We'll get a good shot of this one, Tony. So there's your wardrobe. So two nice wardrobes in this coach in this area. Then we have five drawers just like this one. I'm not going to open all of them, but five drawers just like that. The sixth one is right here. That's actually our AV for our bedroom AV. All right. Where the 4369 is, is most awesome is this rear bathroom. This is what sells this coach. If having a nice size shower is important to you, oh my goodness. I mean, this is huge. Three people can shower in this thing. Um, so nice, nice feature here, huge shower. We have the bench that folds down. There's also a couple different shower heads. You have the rain shower head up, up top, and then you have the handheld here. And then you do have your water preheater. That's what this guy is that's lit up there. That's a way you can preheat the water before it ever starts coming out of the shower head. It actually starts to circulate it so that you're not wasting water. Great for boondockers. Anybody that's boondocking because that's going to run that water um, back to the fresh tank. So you're not wasting your fresh water, but also you're not filling your gray tank. So that's a double win there. They've put the stackable splendid washer and dryer right here at the entrance this is the best place for it i have seen some uh, companies put it in the middle of the coach on certain floor plans and that's fine um, other times they put it in the back and then you lose a lot of closet one of the things that sells the 4369 you have the shower but your washer dryer is in an awesome spot to where you still have an awesome wardrobe and back Shelves on both sides, shoe cubbies built into the back wall, great shelf up top, and still the whole thing is hanging space. Got a safe back here as well, built into the wall. I mean, they really thought of everything on this coach, and that's what makes this so desirable and why it's such a fan favorite, including me, uh, for a long time. The double sinks. A lot of times couples like double sinks. Um, yeah, you know, it's something my wife and I have had in the past, and uh, we we enjoyed it. We're, we're down to one sink now, and I won't say that, that it, you can't live with that, but uh, there's something certainly nice about having your own. And then you also have your own vanities, your own storage, rather, on, on either side. Um, this one even has a 110 outlet. You're probably not going to be able to get a shot on that, but it has a 110 outlet in there. I can just see I would leave my, my, my beard trimmer charging in there so it's not out on the counter where it is now. So ni nice feature there. Then storage below both sinks. And then four drawers like this one. I mean, the storage is kind of ridiculous in a, in a 4369 coach. We also have the emergency egress door in a 4369. That's right there behind the toilet. That door only opens from the inside and it has a ladder that telescopes out of the bottom of it. We have done separate videos on this, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. If you're interested in how the emergency egress door works, we actually demonstrate it. Google Mount Comfort, on our YouTube page, if you just um, look for Mount Comfort RV and then um, emergency e Newmar's egress door, you're gonna find that video very quickly and we'll demonstrate that fully for you. 
All right, so we've seen this coach kind of from one end to the other. Uh, let's close it up and see what it looks like with the slides in. All right, so here we are with the slide rooms closed. While I'm thinking about it, uh, the specs on this coach, um, we have, do have velocity decor on the outside of this. This is Bermuda glazed maple cabinetry, and this is the Wiley decor. So um, that, that's what you're looking at here. This is a 450 horsepower motorhome. Um, and we are located in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm trying to, uh, just east of Indianapolis, Indiana, rather, Greenfield, Indiana. I'm trying to get all the things people tell me. Hey, don't forget to mention this. And everybody always wants the price. I can only give you MSRP on the videos. Uh, $486,158. So $486,158 uh, is, is the actual price on this coach. Obviously, that's not what we sell it for. We're going to give you a tremendously discounted price. I'm going to be competitive with anybody in the marketplace uh, for this coach. But you have to call me or email me directly uh, in order to get that in information. So that's just part of Numar's advertising rules and we play by the rules. So those are some of the things that I sometimes forget to mention on uh, on coaches. So as you're looking at this now with the slide rooms in, let's look at our aisle way that we have here. You know, come up out of the driver's seat. You can certainly pass through here very easily. It's not tight. Right here, again, not tight, very wide. I mean, I'm not even turning sideways through most of this. Okay. You open this door up. That the reason they make this door hinge like this is so that it's a very, very easy entrance into here. Again, that's not tight at all. And then refrigerator is the other thing you always want to get to. You can even get in the freezer, get some ice for a drink. You can get in the pantry and I can get back to the bed and stretch out on the bed. This coach, again, one of the reasons 4369 is just my favorite overall coach. Uh, number one, the size of it, but number two, it just seems to work in all applications. This coach is 44 feet, 11 inches long. Um, you know, the longest I can make it is 45, so um, you can't get any bigger than this. And when you do a full wall slide on a coach, um, you're just not going to improve in your square footage much um, from, from what we're showing you right here. All right, enough about that. We have an outside to show you. Let's do that, and we'll take it from there. All right, to start with the front up here, uh, we'll start with the outside. We'll start at the front corner here. A few things we always talk about. This has the diamond shield. You really can't see that on there, but it's a protective clear film. Helps with bugs, help with, helps with rocks, that type of thing. Um, as I mentioned, and I'll show you in a bit, this coach does have the 360 cameras on it. These have nothing to do with that. These are your turn signal, your lane cameras, if you will. Um, but this coach has lots of cameras on it. We'll come back to that. Um, this is our flagpole holder here, so you can put up your favorite colors and slide them right in there on your coach. Previously, what you had to do was drill holes in your coach to, if you wanted to hang a flag or use zip ties, which of course look great. So um, I apologize if there's any wind noise on the video. It's a breezy day here today. Uh, coming over here, we have keyless entry into this coach. So you get your own uh, code, punch it in. You can unlock and lock your coach from here, unlock and lock your baggage doors from here, which is so much better than going around to each baggage door with the key. You even have a doorbell. I mentioned up above the storage that's in here. You have two step wells like this that are completely Corian and nice storage there. We did option this coach in with the stainless steel trim kit. That's all this white stuff you see on here. We try to keep that uh, on there on a lot of the coaches because uh, it does protect that, but it's basically a mirror all the way around the bottom of the coach. Looks like a million bucks when you have this when you have that shined up. Also have the, uh, uh, the trim kit is on the steps as well, so you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at there. Of course, Alcoa aluminum rims. Uh, this coach has big, big tires on the front. 365, 70R, 22 and a half. That is a big tire for a big ride. You'll like it. Dual fuel fill. You can fill it from either side. This is a 150 gallon fuel tank, which just means that many less fuel stops. You do have Numar's flush mount slides. Instead of using a piece of trim that does like this, that is going to catch water and air and make noise, the, the slides recess back into the wall. That's just a much better fit. You can see their masterpiece finish is gorgeous as always on this coach. This is a refrigerator or a freezer, either one. It runs off of 12 volt or 110. So you can keep the steaks in here or keep the beer in here, whichever you prefer. And the part I like best about this is the slide tray they put it on pulls all the way out here. So even when that slide room is extended, you can still get in and out of this freezer or refrigerator. All right, moving on. We have some pass-through storage. These two bays have pass-through storage. That first bay that he's in now, you can't put a storage tray in there. We put a pass-through tray in this one, and you can put like a halfway through tray in this other one. I don't option them in like that, and the reason is a lot of times customers tell me you lose enough height with the trays that it's nice to have a bay or two that, that actually has um, full height in there. 
The thing with Newmar and their basement is this. This is the most important thing. Feel up on the competitors, feel how thick the floor is. This floor is like that thick, full of insulation. Other people talk about their baggage doors. They talk about that they heat the tank area. Well, quite frankly, at a certain price point, everybody does that. But they're still dealing with floors that are this thick or thinner that are either metal or fiberglass. And, and again, with insulation, you're only as strong as your weakest point. These areas, this basement of this coach, you're, you know, you're talking about the, the, the floor right there and the floor right here. Your holding tanks are right behind this pegboard right here. That's you know critical in cold climate that we keep this area very, very well heated. So anywhere there's water lines or, or water tanks in a Newmar coach, there is heat whenever uh, the heat system is running on the coach. Of course, we have a tag axle on this coach. We're over 40 feet long, so most things over 40 feet long are gonna have a tag axle. This one is a steerable tag. Now, it's called passive steering, which means below a certain mile per hour, I think, on, I think it's 45 miles an hour, if I remember correctly, on a Spartan chassis, the tag axle just kind of follows the coach around and turns with you. You don't really have control of it from the steering wheel any more than you have control of a grocery cart as you, you know, steer it back and forth. The front wheels kind of do what you want them to do. That's what happens with the tag axle on a Newmar coach. This is your DEF tank. DEF stands for diesel exhaust fluid. It's part of the after treatment on the engine. Um, it's emission controls and it's mandatory on all diesel engines. The nice part about this one is they made this fillable from either side. You can fill it right there on that blue cap or I'll show you where when we get around on the other side that you can fill it there also. These are our chassis batteries that will actually, this is what starts the engine and these are two little disconnect breakers we can use if the coach is in storage. One of the nice parts when you step up to a Dutch Star, you do have on the on the tag axle models, you have uh, 15,000 pounds of, of towing. So you can tow just about whatever you want behind this. This also has, uh, because it's on a Spartan chassis, this has the safe haul feature, which means it has air brakes ready for an air braking towed system. Normally, if you buy like an Air Force One system to, to braking system for your towed, there's two halves to that kit. There's the half that goes on the towed, there's the half that goes on the motorhome. With a Numar on a Spartan chassis, the half that goes on the motorhome is already here and installed and ready to go. You don't have anybody cutting into airlines or anything later. So it makes it very, very easy and you can purchase just half of that kit. So that's what makes it nice. We have a side radiator coach, which means the radiator's over here on the driver's side. It's not back here in our way. We can get to our belts. We can get to our engine if we need to. That is a Cummins ISL 450 horse uh, power engine at 18, I'm sorry, 1250 foot pounds of torque. Our air filter is here. Um, that's something you have to keep an eye on, but there's an easy gauge for that to help you know when it's time to uh, uh, change that. All our fluid levels and everything are easily accessed as well. Now I'm going to shut this rear hatch and I want to show you, you actually have two cameras on the back. This is part of our 360 camera system. And then you have your standard up in the top there. Uh, you have your standard uh, backup camera or rear monitor as, as you might call it. I mentioned side radiator. Here is your side radiator. This is the other half of that DEF fill with the blue cap on it. So like I said, you can fill that from either side. They made a special cubby hole just for the sewer hose. Nothing else goes in here. Don't store your fresh water hose with your sewer hose. That's a very valuable tip. We come up to the wet bay, everything is well labeled, which is the easy part about this. Now this is a very well heated compartment. Anytime your heat is running inside the coach, we're gonna be running uh, heat down into this area also. This little pink line here is just for winterization. Not only uh, our, our water lines and our filter and everything in this heated area, but also our dump lines. You, you know, you can't get more water in if you can't get the old water out. So even the dump valves and everything are in a heated space. Your Fresh water hose is on a power reel, so you don't have to find a place for that and mess with rolling it up and it dripping everywhere. It just reels up with the press of a button. Whole house water filter system. It filters every bit of water that goes through this coach. I have hot and cold water out here. If I want to wash the dog or wash my hands, I can do that. We even have a black tank rinse. The black tank rinse, if we notice a little odor, we can actually turn that on while we're dumping our black tank and it rinses the black tank. How easy is that? All right, moving on, we have a 50-foot, 50 amp shore power cord. 
That is right here. Anybody that's ever tried to wrestle one of these in cold weather knows how valuable the power cord reel is. You just hit the button and it brings it back. This also has a surge guard, surge protector built into the coach so that um, if you do have a power surge or anything, it's not going to damage your coach. Your coach is protected. All of these compartments are lighted. Got the little button on it. This is, this is refrigerator door technology here, folks. Um, but you have a little light on there and there's a master switch on the inside. Anytime that master switch is on, if you open any compartment door, the entire basement lights up. This is our Oasis system. Think of this as your boiler room. This is what heats our water. This is what is our main heating system for the coach. Uh, it can heat with diesel fuel or electric, as I mentioned before, but also there's a completely separate video for that, so I'm going to refer you to that. Our storage tray pulls out either side, and it pulls a long way out. Check that out. And just slides back in. Oh, didn't quite get the click. There we go. Make sure you get the click. Here's our pass-through storage in front of that. And there's some extra tiles there in case you would ever need one. Our batteries are on a pull-out tray as well. These are AGM batteries. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. They're still the dominant battery in this industry. Now, I know I got some, I got some guys out there saying, no, lithium. Lithium's coming. It is. It, there's no doubt about it. Lithium batteries are great. They're still very, very expensive for this application at this point. And they take a little different charger technology than what is currently offered in the coaches. I know we're going to see it in the next handful of years. You're starting to see some people do some retrofits, and even some factories are starting to use it in small batch. Um, you haven't seen it at this level yet, but like I said, it's coming. There's no doubt about it. This is the best battery predominantly used. These are uh, th There's no uh, maintenance to these batteries at all. There, there's no water to refill or anything like that. You come up to this front compartment here. This is where we have this, this little rip cord here is how we get into the front hatch where the generator is. And then these are some of Spartan's electronics for the chassis. Up front, we have our 10K generator, and it is on a pullout. Now, one thing I want, oh, I always forget to show this feature. Hang on, Tony, stay right there. Uh, get the camera right in there. I always forget to show this feature. Sorry if Tony maybe almost had a heart attack. We have air horns. They mount them down here instead of up on the roof. That keeps them safe and dry and less holes in our roof. This little red handle here is hot water to generator. That's an option that we put on our coaches. That makes it easy to actually clean your windshield with hot water instead of cold water. When you want to put your generator in, this is how you do it. All right, let's show you that 360 camera. Okay, sometimes it's difficult to demonstrate all of the electronics that are on these coaches, and, and I wanted to take a minute and try to do a little better job of that on this video. Uh, by the way, this coach has 288.7 miles on it right now. One thing that a, 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 a viewer did suggest is that we mentioned we are the closest Newmar dealer to the factory. The factory is about two and a half hours north of us. Uh, so your coach, if you buy it from Mount Comfort RV, will have less miles on it than uh, buying it from any other dealer. Now, you can do factory factory delivery um, if you order a coach, but understand that's about an extra five grand. So um, you don't have to pay the extra five grand to get a great walk through here. We have a campground right next door where you can stay for two, three, four days, whatever you want. Um, that's KOA of Indianapolis, by the way. Uh, and you can stay there and have us uh, a golf cart ride away if you come up with any other questions while, while you're uh, getting to know your new baby. But yeah, we're, these coaches usually arrive to us with, with under 200 miles on them. Uh, this one's been test driven a few times, obviously, but uh, um, you'll have less miles on buying it from Mount Comfort RV than any other coach. So let's talk about our camera system on here a little bit. Now, what you're seeing here on the left-hand screen, I want to focus on the left-hand screen for a minute. And on the left-hand screen, that's our typical uh, going down the road or backing up view. That is our back, our, our rear monitor system, if you will. When you're going down the road and you want to change lanes, what's really nice is our turn signal activated. I just turned on the left turn signal, and it's showing us what's on our left-hand side, what's in our blind spot. Now, if you ever see this while you're going down the road, you're going to know you really screwed up because you've got a compartment door open, um, and, and you don't want that. But that's normally if there was a little car here, we would be able to see that. Same thing with the right turn signal. Then as soon as your turn signal clicks off, this will work its way back to the uh, standard rear view. You learn to use this. If you don't own a motorhome already, you may not appreciate this, but you learn to use this just like your rear view mirror. You know, what we don't think about with our rear view mirror is that we don't even think about it after you've been driving for a while. You just glance up in your mirror whenever you need to. You don't think, hey, I'm looking at my rear view mirror. Same thing here. This becomes something you just glance at without even thinking about it um, to see what's going on behind you, keep an eye on your toad, whatever. Um, 
what's new to the industry is is our 360 camera so we'll shift our focus over to this one right here and with the 360 camera I can put this on in several different combinations I've actually got two cameras going on here I'm, I'm seeing what's behind me but I'm also seeing a bird's eye view of this coach and that bird's eye view what you have here is this this motor home that you're seeing here that's not really us that's superimposed on there that's computer generated but everything other than that in that picture is us um, and so it's just four cameras that are wide angle lenses and then the computer stitches them together in the corner to demonstrate this I'm gonna have Tony get as close to that as he can and keep it in focus I'm gonna go around I've got a bunch of compartment doors on the outside of this I'm just gonna go shut those real quick I know that's normally not something exciting to watch but you'll be able to see you don't really lose sight of me all the way around the coach and when you're navigating a coach in a tight gas station or a tight campground or how close am I to that picnic table or am I going to clear that travel trailer I'm trying to drive past it's really nice to look at this camera and say yeah I'm missing it by a foot hey, that's better than not missing it so uh, keep an eye as I walk around the coach Okay, and just like that, we have our Dutch Star all buttoned up and ready to go for a drive. That's really it. I hope you've enjoyed this. This is our second to last video in the COVID Chronicles, um, or the COVIDios as we're calling them. Um, hope everybody's staying uh, healthy and safe out there. We're trying to uh, do enough of these videos to keep you entertained and, and, and also get you information that you might be looking for on coaches. Uh, but everybody obviously stay safe and uh, we'll see you next time. We're gonna do a new air next time. I only have one 2020 New Air that I don't have a video on already, so you don't get to vote on this one, sorry. Um, we just have one to choose from, so that'll be it. So look forward to that probably next week sometime, um, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV.